Good morning, my dear friends. Good morning to you all. Amen. My dear friends, <clears throat> welcome to the studios of the Evangelist Ministry. From the studios of the Evangelist Ministry, we spread the good news about Jesus Christ and His saving grace. Our mission is to lead people into a growing relationship with Jesus Christ. My dear friends, the topic of today is ask in faith with no doubting amen amen my dear friends amen. let's open the book of of james chapter 2 verse 14 to the 21 14 said what to a prophet my brother Though a man say he has faith and he have no works, can faith save him? If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be you warm and filled. Now, with standing, you give them not those things which are needful to the body. What do it profit? Even so, faith, if it has not worked, is dead, being alone. Yeah, a man said, thou hast faith. And I have works. Show me your faith without your works, and I will show you my faith by my works. Thou believes that there is one God. Thou does well. The devil also believe and tremble. But will thou know? Of amen, the faith without work is dead. Amen. Amen, my friends. Amen. <clears throat> my dear friends, it's a blessing to be here. Trust me, it's a blessing to be here. Faith is very important in my life. 
faith is very important in my ministry. Because for faith, because by faith, I'm in my way to Mexico. You see, the beginning of next month, I'm traveling to Mexico. And by faith, I'm already there. Do you understand, my dear friends? Amen. By faith, I am already on my way to Mexico. My dear friend and my dear friends, when we talk about faith, it's not a simple thing to talk about. Yes, I'm faithful. Everybody is faithful when everything goes well in his personal life. But when something goes wrong, my dear friends, faith disappears in their personal life. Why? Because really, it wasn't faith. These people, they was playing faith. They I make myself understand, my friends? Amen. My dear friends, Asking, asking with faith means acting as if what will happen in the future is already a reality. Did I make myself understand, my friend? Amen. This removed the feeling of anguish and frustration from our faith and heart, knowing that God has heard our prayers and that what we have asked for has already been fulfilled or granted in our personal life. Amen. My dear friends, this attitude allows us to wait with peace and confidence for our desires to be manifest in us and in our family, my dear friend. Amen. When you ask God for something, change your face. Communicate your faith that you have faith. That the things you ask is on the way already. You are added to my firmly believing that God and His plan has already fulfilled what you asked for. Amen? Amen. This will bring peace and joy to your life. We read in the book of James, chapter 1, verse 6, saying, But let him ask in faith, with not doubting. For the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed by the wind. Amen. Amen. chapter 1, verse 6. My dear friends, in the journey of our life, each one of us finds ourselves in search of something that gives meaning to our personal life. Amen. Purpose and lasting peace to our existence. In this personal search, we find different paths. But my dear friend, there is one mark by faith in God that promised not only to transform you, transform me, transform our being, but also to radically change our way to see the world and facing our struggle. Amen. Did I make myself understandable, my friends? Amen. In the book of John, chapter 14, 6, <clears throat> it's clear. It's only one way to fix our problems. It's our faith in Jesus Christ. And Jesus said unto him, I am the way. The truth and life. No man come unto the Father but by me. John 14, 
six. My dear friends, faith in God, what is really faith in God? Have you ever think about that? Faith is not the things that comes out of your mouth. Just suddenly. Yeah, I have faith. No, my dear friends. Faith in God is the light. The light that illuminates the darkest corners of our daily life. Offering clarity in the midst of confusion, despair and tribulation, hope in time of despair, and strength in periods of weakness. Amen. That's the way we can describe faith. The Bible tells us in Hebrews, Hebrews 11, that faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. This simple yet profound statement reveals to us that faith is much more than believing in what we cannot perceive with our sense. Faith is having the assurance in our heart that God is working even when we cannot see it. Jesus himself challenged us to believe without limits when he said in Mark 10, and Jesus looking upon them saying, with man, it is impossible, but not with God. For with God all things are possible. Amen. Mark 10, 27. <clears throat> My dear friends, all things are possible for those who believe. Yes, indeed, my friend. Just imagine for a moment the liberating power of living under this roof. Walking <clears throat> each day with the conviction that there is no mountain too high or valley too deep that your faith in God cannot overcome. Just think Amen. about it. Just think about that. Think of that, my dear friends. Imagine for a moment that liberating power of living under this divine truth. Walking each day with the conviction that there is no mountain too high or valley too deep that your faith in God cannot overcome. Faith is the foundation upon which our lives are built. It's not a simple, a part of our daily spiritual journey. It is the very, very essence of how we experience every aspect of our existence. Amen. Did I make myself clear? Amen. My dear friends, faith in God transformed the way we see things in life, or doing, or being, leading us to see the world not as a series of impossible obstacles, but as an stage where the grace of God manifests itself in each challenge, turning the evidence into testimonies and it struggles into life lessons when we put our faith in our living God. Amen. Amen. 
Believe me, my friend, and this morning faith in God transform our seeing, our doing, our being, leading us to see the world not as a series of impossible obstacles, but as an stage where the grace of God manifests itself, each challenging, turning evidence into testimonies and struggles into life lessons when we put our faith in the living God. Amen, my dear friends. Amen. In the book of James, chapter 1, verse 3 and 4 said, Knowing this, that the trying of your faith were patient, but let patient have her perfect work, that you might be perfect and entirely wanting nothing. Amen. And so we begin to see changes not only in our inner perspective, but also in our art reality. Situation that cause anxiety and disappointment now become opportunities to see God's hands moving. Yes, indeed, my friends. Amen. Relationships that were sources of conflict become channels of His love and grace. Even our internal dial changed from words of doubt and fear to declaration of hope and victory. Amen. Yes, indeed, my friends. To God be the glory this morning. My dear friends, the radical changes is possible because by placing our faith in God, we allow God to take control of our lives, guiding us along paths that lead to divine purpose and peace that surpass all understanding, my dear friends. Amen. Faith does not accept us from facing difficulties, but it does equip us with a new way of facing them. As sure in whom we have believed and convinced that He is capable of maintaining everything that we have and trusted to Him until that day, my dear friends. Until that day. Therefore, I invite you to look beyond the current circumstances, to raise, to raise your eyes <clears throat> upon toward the God who promised to be with you always until the end of the world. In Hebrews 13, 5, we can read, Let your conversation be without covetousness, and be content with such things as you have. For he has said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. Hebrews 13, 5. Amen. My dear friends, let your faith be the reason in your personal life. The anchor of your soul in times of storms. And the candle that propels you toward destination full of His presence and purpose. Amen. Remember that your faith in God has the power to change everything. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes, my friend, remember <clears throat> that your faith in God has the power to change everything. Start living from that place of trust today and you will see how step by step 
your life will transform. Your life will change into a fortress, a very different person. Amen. But faith, without faith, is impossible to please God. My dear friends, faith will teach us to love as Jesus loved. Faith help you to forgive as he forgave or forgave us and to serve as he served. My dear friend, this is not only enrich our connection with others, with the family, but also allow us to be light in this world, often marked by the darkness of selfishness and indifference. Amen, my dear friends. Amen. Therefore, my dear friends, therefore, faith is much more than a simple belief. It is a path to a personal transformation by opening our hearts to God and allow His Spirit to work in every one of us. Amen. Don't forget that we have a pending journey toward to eternity and presence with the Lord one day. But before that, we begin a journey of continuous changes that bring us closer to God, my dear friends. Amen. Amen, my dear friends. Amen. God created us has a wonderful plan for us, for our lives. But for those who are willing to undertake this journey, <clears throat> the reward is a transformation. <clears throat> yes, don't forget that, that we have a pending journey toward eternity, but before that, we begin a journey of continuous change, continuous transformation that brings us closer to God. God who created us has a, a wonderful plan for our personal life. But for those who are willing to undertake this journey, the reward is a transformation. Transformed like marked by peace, purpose, and the constant presence of God. So, I invite you to consider your faith not only as a part of your life, as the core of your existence. Then I make myself understand, my friend. Let it be the light that guides your step, the strength that sustains you in difficult times, and the inspiration to love and serve others. Amen. Yes, for I know the plans I have for you, <clears throat> declare the Lord. Plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and hope. Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me and I will hear you. Amen. Amen. Jeremiah 29. Verse 11 and 12. My dear friends, let it let be the light that guide your steps, the strength that sustain you in difficult times, and the inspiration to love and serve others. He came to serve. Yes, we should serve. He said what I know, the plans that I have for you. Declare the Lord. Plans for welfare and not for evil. To give you a good future and hope. Then you will call upon me and I promise you that I will hear you. Amen. My dear friends, discover how your faith in God can change everything in your personal life. 
Let's think about this, my friends. I want that you and I, we discover how our faith in God can change everything and prepare to be amazed by the transformation that follow faith in action. Yes, my dear friend, you will change, you will transform if your faith is truly Discover how your faith in God can change you personally and everything and prepare to be amazed by the transformation that follow faith in action. Amen. Faith is not a simple ideal to which we aspire. It is a tangible reality <clears throat> that we must penetrate in daily Basis. Amen. Yes, my dear friend, faith is not a simple and ideal to which we wish or aspire. It is a, a tangible reality that must penetrate every aspect of your personal life. Living differently because of for faith means that every decision we make, every word we say, and, and every action we take is rooted in our relationship with God Amen. and biblical principle. Seek His guidance in every decision and rest in the assurance that He is there, even, even, even in the midst of the storm. He is there. He is there. Living our faith in action also involves active engagement with the world around us. It is not enough to live godly life in isolation. We are called to share, share the good news of Jesus Christ with those who do not yet know Him. Amen. But my dear friends, we can get to a conclusion this morning. You must live your, your faith boldly and allow God to use you in an extraordinary way or extraordinary ways to impact the life of those around you. Think about your family, my dear friends. That's for you particularly. Think about, think about my friends. Amen. You must live your faith boldly and allow God to use you in extraordinary ways to impact the life of those around you, your family, your kids. Faith is not simple and abstract concept or superficial belief. Faith is a powerful transformation it is powerful transformative forces that enable us to face and overcome life's most overwhelming challenges, my dear friends. Amen, my dear friends. Amen. Amen. Through the pages of the Bible and in countless contemporary testimonies, we see how faith in God has allowed people to overcome circumstances that seem to be impossible for mankind, to be impossible in the eyes of non-believers. Yes. Take, for example, the story of Daniel in the lion's den. Daniel was true into a, a den full of hungry lions. Do you remember? Amen. Then the king commanded, and they brought Daniel and cast him into the den of lions. Now the king spoke and said unto Daniel, Your God, whom thou serve continually, he will deliver thee. Amen. I believe that he might tell him in a sarcastic way. But my dear friends, 
simple by exercising your faith and practicing your devotion to God in a hostile environment, his unwearing trust in the Lord not only keep him safe through the night, but also serve as a powerful testimony to God's faithfulness and protective power. Amen. My dear friends, without faith, it's impossible to please God. Yes. Remember, the Bible said in the book of James, chapter 1, verse 6, but let him ask in faith, we're not doubting. For the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed by the wind. James chapter 1 verse 6. My dear friends, in the journey of our life, each one of us finds ourselves in search of something that gives meaning. It's not true, my friend. Amen. Purpose and lasting peace to our existence. In this personal search, we find different paths. But my dear friends, there is only one mark by faith. Amen. In God. That promise not only to transform you, transform me, but transform our being, but also the radical changes our ways to see, the world and facing our struggle, facing our sickness, facing our needs. It's only one way. I mean, Jesus Christ said, Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and life, no man come unto the Father but by me. My dear friends, thank you for your time. Thank you for your time. And I hope and I pray that this message help you to continue with your faith or to make your faith is stronger, much stronger. Yes, my dear friend. Remember, Jesus Christ looking upon them said, with man it's impossible, but not with God. For with God all things are possible. God bless you, and God bless. I'm married.